Hi beautiful people. So this video is so important to me. I'm just gonna pretty much just jump right in today. Um, I wish that someone as a little girl would have told me what I'm about to tell you. Like I wish someone would have sat me down, even like as a child, like not just like middle school, but like a child and said to me, Becky, you need to know this for when you're older. Um, or even when I was in middle school, because that's when you really start to think about like, mm, yeah, I think I kind of am interested in that guy over there. You know, that's when it kind of starts to happen and when people actually kind of start dating and parents are like, oh, you're in seventh grade, like slow down, you know? Uh, that stuff starts to happen then, but I wish someone would have told me it even before that, um, just so that I would have had it in the back of my head so that even to this day, like I would know, no, this, someone told me this even back then and I know it and I believe that. And as a result, I can have these healthy relationships and godly centered relationships as a result. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about purity. I'm not gonna be talking about dating intentionally to marry. I'm not gonna be talking about being equally yoked. Okay, that stuff is great, but I believe that those are things that kind of fall under this umbrella term that I'm about to say, this phrase um, that I'm about to tell you about. It's just three words. It's three words and I think that that stuff that I just said is really important and I've made videos about purity um, and I plan on making more on it and maybe even the other topics but I think that stuff is almost secondary because it just flows naturally out of this this phrase that I'm about to say, okay? Um, this is totally from the Bible and something that God's really been uh, showing me lately and revealing to me lately because of really bad relationships that I've been in in the past, toxic relationships that I've been in in the past and I hope that when you watch this video you understand like, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to have to go through toxic relationships relationships like Becca did or if I'm in a toxic relationship I need to think about the fact that this is not okay because of what she said because of what God says about me okay so I don't know where you're at in your life I don't even know how old you are um, or what season you're in or anything but it doesn't matter if this is so important for dating and just in life in general with Jesus so here it is three words the best Christian advice I can possibly ever give to you with dating is this to know your value to know your value Okay, before I even get into it, I have a quick little thing that might seem like it's off track, but it's not at all. In case you didn't know this, in the world today, slavery is still very rampant. Um, human trafficking is still very, very, very much alive, and it's not okay. Like, it is illegal in every single country in the entire world, and not every country enforces those laws and does something about it, which is a whole nother story, but basically, like, people take human beings, people who are made in the image of God, who are loved by God, who are these beautiful, amazing, magnificent creations of his, and they put a price tag on them, and they say, I will sell you this person for this amount of money because of what work they can do for you, labor. Or I will sell you this person for uh, the fact that they can give you their bodies. You know, for sex, like people sell other people for sex and for work and all this stuff, even children, little children. Millions of people are caught up in sex trafficking and, and human trafficking, which is which is the more broad um, term of it. But yeah, and it's awful and no one thinks that's okay, right? I'm not getting into human trafficking today, even though I could make so many videos about it and, and talk for a long time. I'll link my favorite human trafficking like rescue organization in the description below because I love them and love everything that they're about because that's not what I'm talking about today, but this is just something that I have to say. Okay, no one thinks that's okay. At all at all it's illegal in every country and it is something that most people are just like what that's still alive when they find out that it's still happening no one thinks it's okay so why then do we let so often other people define our value and our worth right so many times we find our value and and our worth in in how many guys like us or in how many guys like our picture or in how many guys think we're hot or even just like we we think about our value and we think about how worth how much worth that we have like based on what people say about us so it's not just like quantitative things like numbers like how hot you are on a scale of one to ten it's also like the qualities like quantitative and qualitative things that people say about you um, in terms of numbers and just like what they do to you and how they treat you that is like a qualitative type of thing I don't know if that made sense but but basically like so often we let other people define our value and our worth um, based off of what they say about us so why if human trafficking isn't okay we don't think that's okay why do we let other people do that to us right like, I did it too. And that's the thing, is like, I, for so long, so long, let what guys said about me and then what numbers they placed on me and how they treated me, that's how I saw myself as deserving that love. For so long, I struggled with thinking like, I didn't deserve someone who was really great and everything because I didn't see myself as worthy enough of that and like, having enough value in that. Does that make sense? I don't know. I like, I had a lot of toxic relationships because I didn't know my true value and worth in Christ. Something that has been coming up time and time again in my, like, the podcast I've been listening to and in my readings in the word and even just conversations with people in my real life. It just keeps coming up is how creation 
is all a gift from God. Like everything beautiful you see outside, every sunset, every mountain, every every possible thing you can think of with creation. And then also just like creation in terms of like people, like relationships and, and children and families and all of that. That's all a gift from God. Um, specifically focusing on relationships. This is a gift from God and it's also something that God created to show us how much he loves us. Um, we are called to love other people. And like one of the reasons why is so that we can reflect God's love for people to those people so they see tangibly through us. I've been talking about this in videos lately. God's love for them through the way that we love them, right? And romantic relationships are no different than that. So when two people come together, they start dating and everything, the intention behind that is obviously like to get married, but the, the reason for that is because God created us, man and woman, to come together and to reflect the way that Christ loves the church and to love each other in that way, to, to patiently and gently and kindly and all of those like fruits of the spirit that you can think of, add L-Y to the end, that's how we're supposed to love other people and show that to other people. Here's where the issue comes in, okay? Not all relationships reflect the love um, Christ has for the church, even though that is what God desires for us in terms of relationships, even if it's just dating, also marriage as well, but this is a dating advice video, so we're just sticking with dating today. We don't always reflect the way that Christ loves the church. So if you are in a relationship right now that you know is not reflecting the way that Christ loves the church, you are not trying and actively seeking to to love your partner the way that Christ loves the church, or your partner is not actively trying to love you like Christ loves the church, you need to get out of it. And I'm gonna say it again because some of you are gonna pretend that you didn't just hear that because you don't wanna hear that, okay? You think your, your person's great and nice and they might be cool and funny and all that stuff, but it's like, at the end of the day, if they are not trying to reflect the way that Christ loves the church, you need to get out of it. You need to take this from me because I was in toxic relationships that were awful. And I've said it like multiple times in this video now, but they were awful. And I don't want anyone to have to go through that. And like the healing that had to happen was, it was hard. It was painful. God certainly healed me from it and certainly brought me through it and brought good from it and did all that stuff because he is faithful and good. Thank God for that. But if I can sit here today and give you the advice to either stay in the relationship or to get out of it, you need to hear me and get out of it because I don't want you to have to go through that and learn the same lessons that I did because I can right now save you from so much heartbreak if you get out of that relationship. And you just have to trust me that I, I'm i not making this stuff up on my own. This is, advice is not from my own head that I just like kind of conjured up or something. This is, from, this is from the word of God and what he says about you and the value that you have in him. If you are not with someone who is trying to love you like Christ loves the church, you will never fully understand like how much God loves you and you will never never fully understand your value and worth in him because you're going to have someone who just kind of when they want to love you they'll love you and when you know when they want to to call you beautiful they'll call you beautiful when you know all that stuff comes into play and it's not fun at all. <laughs> so this is another thing that you might not want to hear, but I promise you it's good advice. You just have to you just have to trust me and trust God on this. If you are wanting a relationship that is godly and Christ-centered and beautiful the way that Christ loves the church, you might be single for a while. And I'm just gonna like be so honest in that you might be single for a while and that is okay. Trust me when I say it is better to be single than to be in a relationship that is toxic where a person doesn't know your worth, where they don't know your value, where they don't treat you the way that Christ treats and loves the church, right? No relationship, by the way, is ever going to be perfect even if it is two people coming together to be Christ-centered and, and desire to, to get to know Christ more through being in a relationship with you, right? No relationship is gonna be perfect even with that as the goal. But one that is totally not God-centered at all and where one person doesn't know their value in Christ so they don't know your value in Christ, right? It's an awful thing. And it's so much better to be single than to be with that person, okay? You just have to trust me in that. So I'm gonna read to you 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, which are not typically like the Christian dating advice verses that people always say, but I don't even care. I'm reinventing it right now. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. The part that I want you to catch is, is the one, two, three, four, five, six words. You were bought at a price. You were bought at a price, a very high price. There was no number, no money, monetary, whatever word that is, value that anyone could put on you that has anything in comparison to how much God paid for you and your heart and your life. He wants you so badly, pursued you so desperately and, and recklessly for you and for your life. Um, he bought you with a price. 
It was not anything that, you know, we can ever, ever compare to with earthly things. It was his life. He gave it up for you because he wanted you that desperately. And when you know that and you know your worth and know your value in him, that is when you can come together with someone else who knows their value and their worth in him. They, they know that they are a child of God, a son or a daughter, and they know that you are a son or a daughter, whichever, I don't know what gender you are, okay? But when you are a daughter and you come together with a son or you are a son and you come together with a daughter who loves Jesus so much and wants to come together with you to grow closer to God and to love you the way Christ loves the church that is the kind of relationship that you want so like I said if you are in a relationship that is not reflecting that and that is toxic and not good for you um, where someone doesn't know your value get out of it and if you are single and you're struggling like oh my gosh but it's really hard to be single I know I know that it is but I promise you that it is the best decision that you can make if you are single to stay single until someone pursues you who loves Jesus so much and wants to love you in a way that reflects that okay that is the best advice that I can ever ever give to you when it comes to Christian dating I promise you that so learn from my mistakes and um, know that this is the truth about what God says about you and your worth okay with all that being said classic outro coming at ya okay have a great day and know that you are so loved and so beautiful Wait a minute, I wish I could say I knew better But the truth is I didn't I didn't even have an example of what to treat women like Unless this is it, right? My uncle who had a new girl over every night And I'm like, right Only seven years old, like tired This what I'm gonna be like And this what my time gonna be like